it, it was an audition. Would you like to audition for the Oscars? Well, sure. I mean, I'm not going to get this, but I'll come in. What the hell? So we did the first round, and then they said, well, you made it to the finals. Uh, the director is actually going to come to the audition. And that's an amazing uh, individual named uh, Lou Horvitz. And uh, he's quite a character. He and his guys, they, this is what they do, live event television. They have this gigantic uh, trailer which has a full TV studio in it and an audio setup and recording equipment. And they just roll up to a venue, run the cables in, and, and put on a television show. And uh, he said, you're going to have to get cues from the headphones. And in the headphones, you're going to hear a lot of chatter. And you have to be able to read with this chatter going on in the headphones. So he said, for this audition, I'm going to ask you to read something. And then I'm going to try to recreate the sound in your headphones. So as I'm reading, you know, ladies and gentlemen, the 43rd annual Academy, he's going, camera three, get this. Give me a shot of uh, so-and-so. Uh, camera four, where are you? Move over here. And somehow I got through that, and he was absolutely right. That, that is what's going on. And then we had this odd moment where he said, wait a minute, I know you. You used to work with Bob. Bob? Who's he talking about? And I finally realized he was talking about Robert W. Morgan, who I had worked with at KMPC. And he said, well, you've got a live radio background. This will help you if you get this. And I thought, it wasn't until I showed up and I realized how this thing worked, and I, I thought, he's right, he's right. Because so many people in the voiceover business have never been on live, ever. Voiceover to them is you roll into the studio, you look at the copy, you get levels, and maybe you nail it on take nine. Or maybe it's a combination of take 11 and take six. Not, uh, not at the Academy Awards, you get exactly one take. And that's it, baby. Well, of course, live radio, the stakes aren't as high, but it's live. You screw up, you screw up. There's no way to cover up. And, uh, but the thing about the live event, when you're a disc jockey, if things go wrong, you can cover. You can hurriedly put a record on or go to a commercial. Or you have no control over anything other than the mic switch. And when that voice in the, in the headphone says, stand by, announce, announce, go, you're on. And it's like this giant machine that is rolling along and you got to mesh with those cogs or it'll roll right over you. And I, for someone who's never been on live, I would imagine it'd be very intimidating. And I remember I had this red, uh, this little box with a red button. And when I pushed the red button, the, the, it would light up. And that meant I was, the mic was hot. And this is a, a, a worldwide telecast. I thought, I pushed that button. It's not hello San Diego. It's not hello Honolulu. It's not hello Lewiston, Idaho. It's hello world. Wow. 